Hi, Junior Girl Scouts. I'm Eleanor Gardner. I'm the Outreach and Engagement Coordinator at the University of Kansas, KU, Natural History Museum. I'm also a lifetime Girl Scout. In this video, I'm going to help you complete one requirement of the Junior Animal Habitats badge, the requirement that asks you to explore endangered habitats. Because the museum is currently closed to the public during the ongoing pandemic, I thought instead I'd bring the museum to you. At the KU Natural History Museum, our largest and our most famous exhibit is the Panorama of North American Animals. In this exhibit, you can see biomes that span from the tropical rainforest to the southwestern desert, to the open prairie, to the Rocky Mountains, and even all the way up to the Arctic Circle. So in this video, we're going to focus on two biomes, the rainforest and the Arctic. Tropical rainforests on Earth are considered endangered habitats because of two main issues, deforestation and climate change. Deforestation is the disappearance of forest, and it's occurring at an alarming rate, about 6,000 acres every hour. Humans are cutting down rainforests for a variety of reasons, including logging, for unsustainable farming and livestock purposes, and for mining. Climate change, which has been rapidly accelerated due to human activities such as the production of and burning of fossil fuels, is also threatening rainforests. With climate change, droughts increase in both frequency and intensity, leading to die-off of trees and increasing the risk of wildfires. Biodiversity scientists and students at the KU Natural History Museum conduct field studies where they travel deep into the rainforest to study and collect data on threatened animal species. Their research helps inform conservation efforts to try to save endangered habitats and the animals that live there. One example is KU Natural History Museum graduate student, Karen Olson, who is researching mammal species native to rainforest ecosystems in the Philippines archipelago. The Arctic tundra is found across Northern Alaska, Canada, and Siberia. Here, the average temperature ranges from negative 30 up to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Brr. Unfortunately, the Arctic tundra is in danger due to global climate change. Progressively increasing temperatures since the Industrial Revolution mean that the Arctic tundra landscape is changing faster than the animals that call the tundra home can adapt. Snowy owls are one example. Snowy owls nest in the Arctic tundra, and sadly, their population numbers are decreasing significantly. In 2017, snowy owls were listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List, meaning the owls face a high risk of extinction in the future. Changes in snow cover affect the availability and distribution of their prey, such as lemmings. Scientists are studying the snowy owl and other threatened bird species in an effort to inform conservation efforts and prevent extinction. Although none of the ornithology researchers or graduate students at the KU Natural History Museum are currently studying snowy owls, we do have snowy owl specimens in our collection that are used by other scientists to analyze data and draw conclusions. One such scientist is Audrey Robillard, who is a Canadian biologist. She studied snowy owls for her PhD. Her work helped us to better understand snowy owls' movement patterns and diet, and more research continues to this day, building upon what she found. Thanks for watching. Learn more at our website, biodiversity.ku.edu.